Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be an interesting matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and the Green Bay Packers. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, coach, historic Lambeau Field, fittingly it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Los Angeles Rams and the Green Bay Packers. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Packer team as we interplay here. They come in on a pretty good roll here, winners of three straight. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Goff. While in college, quarterback teams that improved their win total from one his freshman year to five his sophomore year to eight his junior year. Love that type of improvement. Love that type of diligence. Goff on first down. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Cooper Cup was his intended target, but it'll be second down. And quickly now, here's a look at the Rams offense. And they're coming off a good win on the road last week, but they do know that they have a home game next week. So all the focus has to be, can they get a second win on the road and make going home that much sweeter? That's the intention in this ball game. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. Out of the gun. Gone. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking talk about ordering dinner, ordering snacks. I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. 
Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Time for a look at the defensive starters now for the Rams. They were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. And what I saw on film was nearly an unstoppable pass rush. They had five sacks last week, plenty of hurries. So now do you just max protect on offense, keep everyone in and run, you know, one or two receiver routes to make sure your quarterback stays up? We'll soon find out. Looking to throw on second down. Fields. It's caught here by Adams. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. The numbers for Adams in last week's game. Four catches, 56 yards. And I get the feeling that he loves this matchup. I mean, the unit he's going against is in the bottom half of the league against the pass. He had to have circled this one on the schedule and said to him. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. You know darn well both of these teams reviewed the film and saw that this defense had five sacks last week. they got to keep their QB upright. And they're going to try their best to do exactly that. But they're facing a team where getting to the quarterback is a mindset. It's a mantra for them. And they play a game within the game. And you know what it is? Let's race to the quarterback and see who gets there first. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has caught, and he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. On second down now, it's Beal. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. From the gun, Fields. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 45-yard line. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 17-yard line. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this one's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. On third down, Fields. This will be caught at about the five. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. On second down. It's Beal, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Touchdown, Packers! Drew Sample, his first touchdown on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. 
Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you, along the way, and they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp, guys are focused, everyone's feeling good, and we're seeing it early in this one. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Let's go! Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster. And you hope their lockers are not right next to each other for the post game. Safe. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Sam Hubbard make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles, but also when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. And let's see who's faster. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. This quarterback now 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a little bit farther away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, and that's exactly what happened there. Now a chance to make that encroachment penalty really hurt. First and five. Looking to throw. Fields. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Alex Anzalone, the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Second and 13. Wide open receiver complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 38-yard line. This quarterback now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. Back to throw. Fields firing quickly, but it's incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. 
call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Operating from the gun, Fields. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And the lead moves to 10 zip. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Let's Talk go, about baby. kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 23. Golf now to throw, and that's complete to Jesse James. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Ten nothing to score go, after one on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. From the gun, here's gone, and his throw is incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now it's gone. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks, touchdown L.A. Brandon Cooks, his fifth touchdown now on the year as they are now on the board here in the first half. Maybe that is the boost that this offense needed. They did nothing the entire half. But out of the blue comes this big shot here. You're exactly right. Like a dunk in basketball, like a home run in baseball, maybe a solo shot. Sometimes you need that big play to get things ignited. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. On second down now. Swift, and that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. He lost two there, and it's third down. The Packers on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third down and 12. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he's able to get up here to the 26. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. 
The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. They go play action with Gurley. Now golf. And that'll be incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches. If they make them out of bounds, that does you no good. He's going to dump it off to Gurley. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. They wound up getting nothing out of that second down completion, so now here's third and... And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Packers now to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. On first down, Swift. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. On second down, Swift fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. The Packers on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and nine. Well, throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. 12 yards on the return that time, and out will come the offense as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. Third and long, it's gone. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Out from the shadows of their goal line. Here's first and 10 from the 11. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. 13 yards, first down Packers. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. 
tackle there by Alex Anzalone. Second and five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Off play action. Fields. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Well, they've already allowed three sacks in this first half. Now a holding penalty. So I think drastic measures had to be taken, right? The regular way was not working. He was getting hit almost every snap it felt like. They had to try and keep him upright. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make it second and 12. They'll run it now out of the gun. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. To throw on third down, Fields. Going to throw right side here, complete. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So a jump there back. defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Off the bootleg, Fields. Got a man open, it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him, they did. That's simply saying, we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good, we're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him, he gets it done. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and the result, a Green Bay score. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. A shotgun snap for gone. This is caught. It's Cooks. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. There to stop him on the defensive side, Lorenzo Carter. Throwing on second and eight. Goff looking middle, and it's incomplete. The Rams on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and eight. Gone. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. Let's go. Let's and this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 29-yard line. 
So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Back to the ground game here, Gurley. And good pressure defensively to stop him for a loss of a couple. Now there's also a flag to go with it. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. Here's gone. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They'll give him eight on the play, and it'll be second and 12. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. He was looking to go back to Cooks one more time, and that'll make it third down. Throwing on third, golf. This is caught, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Brandon Cooks with his second touchdown here in this first half. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. He's going to pick up a holding call. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. 58. On second down now, Swift had a pretty good run, all things considered. Probably would have liked that in the first quarter instead of right now as the clock continues to run. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. From the gun, Fields. Hard throw, incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline.
Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things starting to get interesting in this final weekend before Thanksgiving. So let's see what's going on around the NFL. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. So the face mask puts them in even better shape than they were in as they'll have a short field here on first and 10. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. To throw on second down. Fields getting this into the hands of Turner. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Looking to throw. Fields. And that is incomplete. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Off the play fake. Fields. And he slings one that's incomplete. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. He'll have a first down inside the ten. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough. Otherwise, they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Gay is on for the point after. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. 
Brandon Cooks and the rest of the offensive crew trotting back into place out there. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Well, that'll be caught by Cup. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. <laughs> Throwing on second and long. Goff, his throw incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Back to throw, Goff. James has got it, complete. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's Johnny Hacker now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And they'll start out here with a jet sweep. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Looking to throw on second down. Fields. And that's complete to Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. They go play action here on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. And an alley to run. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. And this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Right back to him on first down. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. On second down, it's Beal. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Second and one. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. From the gun on third down. Fields. His pass caught at the four. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. A great play there. 
His third touchdown now on the year. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Out of the gun, gone. That's complete to Robinson. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and this. mark him at the 5. A gain of 32 that time. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well and get a few stops. And he gets halfway home from the 4 down to the 2-yard line. Every team we ever talk to that continues to run the ball in a game, even when they haven't had much success, all talks about attrition, don't they? If you keep running it, eventually good things are likely to happen. It's been a hard go in this game today, hasn't it? Yeah, this defense, they've met pretty much every challenge. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Todd Gurley, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Rams are able to cut into this lead. We got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space, but how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Badgley on for the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Just a four-play drive that time. And last year's rushing and total touchdown leader, Todd Gurley, caps it with his first of the game here. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps, is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people, no errors, right? Not turning it over, and just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Back to throw. Fields. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Single, single, slot, slot. To throw on second down, Fields making the catch is Sternberger. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 43. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. This quarterback now nearing the 300-yard mark with still a quarter to play. It's first and 10. 
Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. David Long, the rookie from West Virginia, there defensively. On second down now, Swift. And he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. That's on the former first-rounder from Ole Miss, Laramie Tunsil. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's not even able to get back to the line of scrimmage. And there's also a flag down, and it's in the area of holding. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block would be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. There goes a deep ball. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Off play action. Fields. This one hauled in by Sample. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. This quarterback now over 300 yards down for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. And he knew he was going to take a shot in the pocket. He did, but he also found a way to get it into the end zone. And that has to ease the pain a little bit of the shot he took, didn't it? Being able to throw it into the end zone for a touchdown. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That time, a nine-play drive. And the result, a Green Bay score. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Getting set to go again here on offense, Jared Goff trots back onto the field. How do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle and frankly partner. It's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fake. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And yeah, nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Rams on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and 16. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's James. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. To throw is gone. Man open. It's cup. He's got it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now, no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. 
You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. <laughs> not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking to go back to Cooks one more time, and that'll bring up second down. Delayed give, Goff to Gurley. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. Goff on third down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Goff now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Goff now looks to throw. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. On first and ten, Goff. He gets it to Cooks. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. From the gun, here's gone. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Todd Gurley. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Rams are able to draw a bit closer. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that will shave one more off this lead. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. And he'll give it here to his running back. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. Swift. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. On third down, Fields. He's got the tight end, Sternberger. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. Well, they're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. There to make the tackle, Samson Abukum. Well, no doubt here in the fourth quarter, this is a huge defensive series. Hey, they can read the scoreboard. They realize if they give up a field goal here, this game might be out of reach. They understand the stakes and are playing accordingly. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. 
And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Off the bootleg, Fields. His throw caught at about the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Looking to throw, Fields. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Drew Sample with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Gay is on for the point after. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Another incomplete pass there. What do you take from this game offensively? Well, you know it's tough to really analyze for them because it is a team game, right? And let's be honest, though. The defense did them no favors in this one at all. Offense actually moved the ball. So, bottom line, film session, defense, it's going to be a real tough one for them. Offense, they'll get a little bit of praise. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. There's gone. And a quick throw here. That's complete. It'll be a gain of six, and it's a second down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. There's gone. He gets it to Gurley, complete. And he gets it down to the 32. Nine yards the pickup there, and it's a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Again, gone. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for his big tight end there, Jesse James. And now it's second down. Back to the air, Goff on second down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. The Rams on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and 10. Now gone. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And they move this all the way down to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. It's complete to Robinson. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. Yeah, I don't think Gurley got there. Looks like the defense held him back. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Nice job holding them out of the end zone on third down. I think you need to give a big assist to this crowd. Yeah, they're really rallying them, aren't they? They're behind them the whole way. And they get that little bit of extra motivation. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. 
taking it in from a yard out. And the Rams are able to cut into this lead. Well, three scores in this game. I think that deserves some type of a broad gesture. I know in hockey, that's called a hat trick, and people throw their hats out on the ice. What about us? What can we do for this guy? Well, if I'm his teammates, I'm buying him a little steak dinner tonight, right? At least a skirt steak, probably a filet. Oh, you're going big. I like that. Well, yeah, I mean, skirt at I minimum, mean, skirt filet steak, at come maximum. On. You can't give the guy a skirt steak. That's he scores three times. Filet. There you go. 10 oh, ounce. Porter, 16 ounce. Porterhouse. Fine. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that will get him one closer. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's finished off by a Todd Gurley touchdown run. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. This one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. Well, for a second there, I had flashbacks to a few years ago, the NFC Championship game for the Packers, but here they're able to hold on. And many things changed in Green Bay after that game. Personnel, people coaching, the whole deal. And in this case, they get it done. No fail like they had in Seattle. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Looking to throw on second down. Fields. And they drop him for a loss, but penalty markers are on the field. Let's see about the call. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll keep it on the ground. Swift, and he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Let's go, Let's go. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll run on first down. Swift, he will push his way down to about the 14. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. And he'll give it here to his running back. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. On third down. Swift, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's go. still Here eight up go. time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not gonna go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. Throwing again on second and 10. Goff, he's going to let it fly. 
And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. One last throw here for Goff. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Jair Alexander, and that will write a finish to this ball game. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. What were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Green Bay, the win gets them a step closer to 500 at 5-6. Five and six. And they'll get another home date next week as the Eagles will come to town. Meanwhile, for L.A., their luck may have run out as they fall to 4-7 and seven now in the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.